lads, it's getting really boring. <laughs> but you see, I know you are, Greg, because you're eight foot six. <laughs> Blake, another day, another Would I Lie To You clip, and we're going to be continuing with uh, the Taskmaster himself, Mr. Greg Davies. Uh, a fan favourite of yours, I, I hear. Yes. All right. well, I love Greg Davies, <laughs> and the people in the comments love Greg Davies too. So this one was a popular choice. Um, it was one of the top two or three people had suggested to check out. It is Strangely Cold, Greg Davies, and the Snorkel Parker Music Practice Room. That's a tongue twister right there. Yeah, that, that makes total sense by itself. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going to happen here, but should we just get into it? Yeah, yeah. At school... I invented a game called Snorkel Parker Music Practice Room. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck, buddy. Please, team, what do you think? What was the game called again? Um, <laughs> it was called Snorkel Parker Music Practice Room. Right, and can you describe the game to us? Myself and um, several friends, uh, uh, we all had snorkel parkers. Well, what is a snorkel yeah. parker for some, for some of the younger viewers? Yeah, <laughs> it's... Um, it, it's a large uh, hooded coat with a fur-lined Oh, collar. the one that comes out at the front. Yeah. And, for, okay. and you, can, you can zip it up so that it comes right up and uh, so that only your eyes are visible. Right. Can you describe you. the rules? Imagine we've never met, I've got Miss Snorkel Parker. <laughs> what would happen next? Well, then you and I, Lee, will go to the music practice room when... I'm not um, falling for this again. <laughs> and you zip up your Snorkel Parker... Yeah. And then you, you, when someone's practicing their violin with a violin teacher in the music practice room, yeah. you duck down b below the window and then you just come up with your snorkel parker on. <laughs> so just imagine you're a historical reenactment society. Uh, You've got your members there. I suppose. I suppose. How would you? Have to... just... David is between two giants. <laughs> yeah. And they yeah. didn't even him out. Remember I said the first <laughs> Greg one? I was like, oh, they've lowered Greg down to even him out? Yeah. It's probably it's, because yeah. of this very thing, because David looks like a small child. He really does. It's lucky that he has the beard here, and he's not clean-shaven, because he would have looked <laughs> like a six-year-old. Yeah, absolutely. He just looks so odd. It looks so odd. And, like, is Greg Davis preparing himself to put on the snorkel parker and expecting the other two to do the same right now. I think that's exactly what he's about to do. Let's find out. To fully demonstrate it by, by using my, um, making an ad Feel hoc free to ask parker. Richard and David to help you out on this. Would you help me out with this? Um, well, I mean, I, 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 you see, this is one of the moments where... <laughs> <laughs> I like having to... Hey, Bob's up. Oh, hey, he's gone. Yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> David does not want to do it. So if so if you imagine that this was the music practice room and and there was some someone in there having a lunchtime a lunchtime uh, violin lesson, yeah. you you would wait until they were in mid tutorial and right, then, I'm picturing it, yeah. And then together yeah. after three. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> If he has just made this up, because Snorkel Parker <laughs> music practice room, like it's kind of believable the story. Like it's yeah. not, it's not that insane. Like it's just a very scary and creepy thing to do. And if someone just looked over and saw these three hooded people looking through the window, it would give them a fright. Like it would be kind of fun to play as a kid. He would have been in school when there's no such thing as mobile phones. So this is absolutely like you know when you when we were kids. We would go outside. Yes, I, I, I remember those days. I, yeah. Everything was in black and white. <laughs> but also, I, I would imagine that this is how, like, the school guys, the, his school friends would have just been like, oh, let's just go have some banter or have a giggle at this. Yeah. This is the best thing we can come up with. Let's spend our entire lunch break <laughs> hidden behind a bush in a glass window. <laughs> just, and just every now and again, just rise up and stare. <laughs> oh. That's it, really. <laughs> was the secret to getting the fact that they never knew who you were? You were no, they wouldn't know who you were because yeah. it's only your eyes showing. And he'd tell you to go away, so you would all duck down away, and then you'd leave it for a minute, and, come back and then you'd just come back up again. <laughs> yeah. What age were you? Maybe... Maybe tell me you weren't one of the teachers. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe 13, 14. Right the way through to when you left? Right, right through till sixth form, yeah. I have a feeling he was probably that height at 13 or 14 as well. <laughs> so I think they all would very much know, like... 
That's Greg outside. The yeah. <laughs> you never got told to stop this, or you got. To... Yeah, well, they would they would bang on the window and be really furious with For us. Five years. They were banging on the window. They never once thought to come out. <laughs> they did. They'd say, lads, it's getting really boring. <laughs> <laughs> but you I, see, I know you are Greg because you're eight foot six. <laughs> <laughs> but just out of interest, by show of hands, who would like to play Snorkel Parker music practice room? I love it. Yeah. I'm quite keen on I've, the game. I've already played it, I didn't really enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds ridiculous. I mean, the last it time. It does I... sound utterly ridiculous, Greg. It's almost as if you're lying. <laughs> Do you think he is lying, Lee? What are you going to say on this one? All right, where are you going to fall on this one? I'm going to say it's true. Like, I'm going to say it's true. I have no reason to think that. Like, nothing in this story was outlandish to the point where I can't believe it, so... Like, anyone could tell me that they played that game in high school and I'd be like, yeah, that sounds like a fun game. <laughs> we may be by ourselves with these ones, but I, yeah, I think it's definitely a truth. Yeah. Well, I, I actually believe him. I could just see you doing that for, for kicks and giggles. Bob, which way are you leaning with this? Well, it's got the anticipation, it's got the jeopardy, <laughs> it's got the... <laughs> what a game! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing tells me you're going to get a phone call from Waddington's. <laughs> If this gets picked up, this is just because I've talked about it now, it's mine, right? Oh, it's only yours yeah. if you really played it. If it's a lie, then you haven't copyrighted well, who's it. If it is a lie and I've just read it off this thing, whose idea is it? Well, well, I'm the person who wrote the lie. <laughs> I'd, like to, I'd like to maintain the rights to Balaclava Sports Hall. <laughs> <laughs> if, yeah. if anyone's interested. <laughs> right, Lee, it's time to take a guess. <laughs> oh, Bob. <laughs> Like, it's not even a Bob clip, and the funniest part of the clip was a Bob line. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that was a little misdirect there at the end, where he's like, well, if this isn't mine, like, can I claim it? Like, I, yeah, I'm still leaning heavily into this is a true story. He could just be throwing us away with, with those sort of lines, but um, he did seem genuinely interested in with who comes up with the jokes or the lies. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, okay. You think it's genuine? I think that was, I think he knows exactly what's going on and that was just a lie. That was a uh, a Claudia Winkleman yeah. uh, playing dumb to get away with something kind of lie. It, it did seem like a little bit of a lull where he's just trying to carry out that moment a few seconds longer. Yeah, yeah just, just get to that finish line. Yeah. Right, Lee, it's time to take a guess. What are you going to say? We're going for truth. You're saying it's true. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Craig, yeah. were you telling the truth? Well, were you telling well, me? Well, right, because that would make me utterly pathetic, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I was telling the truth. Good <laughs> support. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's true. Uh, Greg did invent a game called Snorkel Parker Music Practice Room. At school, Greg was very popular with the other pupils, not surprising, really, considering they'd created him in a science lesson. <laughs> 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 nice. Solid story. Oh, yeah, Greg, uh, you surprised me there just then. Um, pretty, pretty simple story, but obviously, like, had a really, really arousal of, of humour from the rest of the panels. So I think that's also what tells... Uh, sorry, what makes it hard to guess whether they're lying or not, the reactions from the other panelists. Nah, that was a really good story, and it makes me even more excited to um, be checking out some Taskmaster clips in the near future. Yes, I'm sure it does. You can see your boy again. Yeah. So, guys, if you uh, have any other Greg Davies clips that we should be checking out on Would I Lie to You, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you want to see more of our reactions, hit on that playlist just up there. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for the next one.